Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the Juliet Has A Gun fragrances that I have in my collection. And I'm going to, I guess, rank them even though it was really hard to do because Juliet Has A Gun is one of my favorite houses. I just love them every single time that they release a fragrance. More times than not, I absolutely enjoy the fragrance. So if you are new here and you love fragrance talk, beauty talk, self-care, body care, all of that, go ahead and subscribe because that's pretty much all that I talk about on this channel. And with that said, let's jump right into today's video. So let's jump right in. I have seven Juliet has a gun fragrances in front of me. Not all of them are full size, but most of them are. And I'm going to start off from the one that I like the least to the one that I like the most, even though it's a very hard, it was very, very hard for me to rank them because I like most of them just the same, but I had to put them in order. So we're gonna get right into it. There are a few other Julia has a gun fragrances that I have never tried that I would love to try. Some of them are Lipstick Fever. I have never tried that one. And I could have put Vanilla Vibes in here because I did own that one in the past, but I don't want to give it a bad ranking because I did not enjoy Vanilla Vibes when I had it, but that was about three years ago. And I am interested in trying that one again. So I'm not going to rank it because it would not be fair. I'm going to rank the ones that I have at the moment. And the first one I'm going to start off with is not because I don't like it or I the one that I dislike the most because it is really really nice I just don't have too much experience with this one I only have a decant of this one so none of these are hates for me at all I'm just putting this one in last place because it's the one that I have used the least I don't know it as much but it is a really nice fragrance and I do know that a lot of you guys love this fragrance from like my subscribers so this is a decant this is from sense gift they sent this over to me a while back this is a very nice fragrance mm. this could even be like in second place if i go based off of what i'm smelling right now because it kind of reminds me of the original not a perfume but a beachy not a perfume and this is sunny side up so sunny side up, the main accords are woody, coconut, vanilla, powdery, musky, sweet, amber, warm, spicy, and balsamic. This shouldn't even be at the end, you guys, because it just smells so good. It also kind of reminds me of Clean Reserve Solar Bloom for some reason. It has like that warm coconutty touch to it, like a very warm vibe. I just don't want to rank it super high up because this is not one that I have a lot of experience with. So we're just going to keep it in last place but don't think that it's bad definitely like a coconutty woody warm fragrance so many notes that i love i love vanilla i love coconut i love ambrette and i have been kind of getting into iso e super lately i definitely pick up like a woody touch to this fragrance so that's the only thing that's keeping me from saying that i absolutely love it is that i kind of prefer like the opening i feel like as it starts to dry down, the woodiness really is shining through on my skin. A little more than I would like, but it's still a beautiful fragrance. It is kind of like, to me, Juliet Has A Gun is known for like that airiness that they offer. It's just like you get this beautiful scent, but it's light, it's airy. It's perfect for those of you who feel like some perfumes are too heavy or you get headaches easily. I feel like Juliet Has A Gun does very good at making you smell really, really nice, but it's... It's not as intense, but you still smell really good and people can smell you. It's just a very unique vibe to them. And this is pretty much like if you are a person who loves woody fragrances, but you want something on the lighter side, something that you can wear every day, Sunny Side Up is really, really nice. It has a warmth to it. The coconut is definitely there. So I definitely see people comparing it to Santal 33, which I have smelled before. And I definitely do get that vibe with this one as well. So if you do like Le Labo Santal 33, this is definitely one that would be right up your alley because it kind of has like a similarity to that one. I do pick up on the sandalwood and you know what? I'm kind of glad that I kind of kept this one in last place because even though I do I did really love the opening and the opening was just magical I feel like the more that it's drying down it is getting super woody and I'm a little sensitive when it comes to like 
too much sandalwood it could get me a little sick so this is one that i definitely need to wear some more but this is one in my collection that is sunny side up moving on i'm going to move on to their latest release unfortunately it is lower on the list even though i think that it's a beautiful fragrance this one makes me think of like just a bougie beach girl picture yourself leaving the beach taking your bathing suit off taking a shower putting on your beautiful outfit that you brought for vacation like a really nice dress something very sexy and you still want to keep those beachy vibes but you definitely want to give off more like bougie more sophisticated and sexy types of vibes that is when you would pull out lust for sun from Juliet has a gun. You do have to like white florals. You have to be okay with white florals. I do not like white florals too much in my fragrances, but even though I'm not a white florals type of girl, this one works. This one does not give me a headache. It's not too sharp. The notes are blended so beautifully. I just get this beautiful like floral warm, almost as if the sun was shining. And what I love most about this one is the dry down. So the dry down does get a little bit more coconutty and vanilla on my skin, but this one is not necessarily a favorite. So I wouldn't say that it's a favorite as of yet. So the main accords are white floral, yellow floral, sweet floral, citrus, musky, like tonic, coconut, and vanilla. So for me, the dry down is my favorite part, but it does take like more than an hour for it to reach that state. So if you are someone who does not stand white florals, be careful with this one. Definitely start off with like a sample size just to make sure that your skin agrees with it. I'm definitely going to use this more in the evening time this summer. I'm like if I go out at night or if I'm going out somewhere for dinner or somewhere that I know I'm gonna have like the ocean nearby and I want to kind of have those vibes, I'll definitely reach for this one. But this is definitely not a favorite from the line and it is a little bit harder for me to wear this one compared to the other ones. The other ones I could pick up, throw them on, like the ones that are coming up next, I can pick them up whenever, put them on, and I know that I'm going to smell good and I don't have to think too much about it. But if you are a girl who loves white florals, if you love coconut, if you love kind of like that Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, those types of vibes, you will definitely enjoy Lust for Sun. Next up is one that I got, I believe it was last year, maybe even almost two years ago, and I really, really like it for how unique it is. I don't think this is like a crowd pleaser, and I pick up a lot of ginger in this one, so that's what kind of gives it like this very unique burst of like a spicy freshness to it. So this one is Magnolia Bliss. And this one is so good. If you do love a girly floral type of fragrance, but it has ginger, so it's gonna give you also a fresh, warm, spicy type of vibe, this is really, really nice. This one I have always said reminds me of the Herbal Essence Rose Shampoo, like the pink bottle. I get that so much in this fragrance, but then I get this kick of spice, which makes it more unique, more expensive smelling. This has that ginger in it, which gives it that fresh spice. And it's one that I like for springtime, but I cannot wait to try this out in fall during fall time because I feel like that's when I'm really going to love this fragrance. At the moment, if you are new here, I am living on an island, so it gets very humid, it's very hot. A lot of fragrances are very hard to pull off, but I am going to be moving in about a month and I'm going to be moving to Kentucky and I'm pretty sure that the fall there, I'm going to be able to experience these types of fragrances so much better. I'm very, very excited and pumped for that, but let's go ahead and let's go over the main accords of this one. The main accords are floral, citrus, musky, fruity, fresh, powdery, sweet, amber, and aromatic. So they do add a lot of unbroxin to their fragrances. That's kind of what they're known for. And this is no exception. It has that same airy quality to it, but the longevity on this and the performance is really, really good. So this one I would say is very good longevity, very good scent bubble, amazing performance, nice sillage, and it is a floral girly scent with a kick of a spice. And I have had people tell me that they don't pick up on the ginger, so maybe to some people, it's just a very girly floral scent to me it's a girly scent with a kick of spice in it so that is magnolia bliss moving on up this is so hard my ranking is not you can't take it too literal because moving on up i'm just loving them more and more and almost as equally like i just really like these so this next one is one that 
gets no love. And I described it not too long ago as giving your man a hug and kind of like his scent kind of staying on you, kind of lingering on you. A very unisex aquatic type of scent is so good. And this fragrance has blueberry and peach. So that's another reason why I absolutely love it. This is Eagle Stratus. I love it so, so much. This one is definitely a unisex fragrance. It doesn't lean too feminine and it doesn't lean too masculine. It might be masculine for some people, but if you are a lover of unisex fragrances, this is a must have. And if you are a lover of like ocean, breezy type of marine fragrances, this is a must have. The main accords for this fragrance are citrus, musky, aromatic, marine, amber, fresh, fruity, powdery, fresh, spicy, and woody. This is so good. And the scent bubble that I get with this fragrance, I smell myself the entire time that I'm wearing it. I get like whiffs of this fragrance over and over as I'm wearing it. It's so good. I find it very sexy in like how I mentioned it. Kind of like if your husband or your boyfriend gave you a hug and a little bit of his scent stayed on you. It's very juicy and aquatic at the same time. And I really pick up on the blueberry. The blueberry mixes in a lot with like the marine touch so it's a very juicy marine fragrance and the atomizer on these fragrances has got to be do you see that so good this is this is one of my favorite ones i love it so much i don't pick it up too often it's not one of those that i wear all the time but when i do i ask myself like why am i not wearing this more but this is definitely for those days that you just want to wear like a white tee some jeans you want to be a little bit more casual but you want to smell really really good and you don't mind smelling a little unisex eagle stratus is definitely the one next up i have a travel size i would like to get this in full size in the future once i finish this travel size i don't use it too much here because it's a little thick for the weather here but it's gorgeous especially for fall and winter time this is juliet has a gun mm -hmm. this is very similar to dior hypnotic poison it's really really nutty it has raspberry so i do pick up on the raspberry a lot as well very powdery very ladylike and classy but then it still has a little bit of sexiness to it mm, it's so good it's like almost like a romantic fragrance so the the word mm, or the name mm, fits it really well because i feel like this one when you wear it you will just make people want to like hug you and like sniff you it's just so it's like an intoxicating type of scent this one doesn't have that ambroxan feeling that a lot of the juliet has a gun fragrances has this one's a little bit more on the thicker side so the main accords for this one are powdery sweet vanilla white floral fruity woody caramel to rose warm spicy and balsamic this is definitely for the gourmand lovers it is just very decadent it's intoxicating this fragrance is beautifully done i prefer this one over hypnotic poison i decluttered my hypnotic poison because that one you can kind of get like a play-doh vibe out of that one which i didn't really struggle with that but after having it for a really long time and it getting like really concentrated and stronger I started to kind of get that more and more. So this one just keeps like a little bit more of that fruitiness from the raspberry while being very powdery and just super intoxicating. That's all I can say about this one. Once I'm done with this travel size, I will definitely have the full size of this one in my collection. So that is mm -hmm. Next up is the most yummy, thin, airy pear fragrance. And this is Pear Ink. So I love this one for casual days, for just like pick up and go types of fragrances. You can wear this anywhere. It just smells so good. And it's just a very juicy, airy pear. It's a very simple fragrance. It's musky, it's fruity, and it does have also like an aquatic touch to it. So the main accords are musky, amber, fruity, sweet, aquatic, powdery, and fresh. I'm not sure if I really get like a powdery vibe out of this one. So very, very simple. You're just getting a musky pair with this one. Now this one, I just wish I could smell it on myself longer. That's the only thing that I wish. I used to get very nose blind to and Broxen fragrances. So that's why for a long time, I didn't really look at Juliet Has The Gun fragrances. But as time has gone by, I can definitely like it sticks around a lot longer to my nose but this is one that other people will definitely smell on me but I just have a problem with this one like lasting 
a long time. Oh, but it's so sweet and musky and just simple. If you're someone who loves pear fragrances and you kind of love like simple fragrances, definitely check this one out. It is just juicy, aquatic to me. Pear, it's not a super realistic pear to me. To me, the most realistic pear that I've ever smelled is Giorgio Armani's Ocean de Joya, which I just finished up. That one is like such a ripe, juicy, Pear. This one is, I definitely get more of like the musky side of it with the pear adding like a fruity sweetness to the fragrance. Oh, but it's so good. It's so, so good. That is Pear Ink. That's my second place. And coming in at first place is none other than, I guess, one of their most famous fragrances. This is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. Isn't this bottle so gorgeous? I love the white bottle. Only thing I don't like about my bottle is that it literally, they have fixed it with the newer bottles. I can literally pick this up. This is not going to fall because it's very secure. But this bottle, since it's older, they really didn't make this secure. At least my bottle, maybe it has a defect. I'm not sure. But the main accord for this one are amber musky and woody the notes are ambroxan and cetalox which what the heck is cetalox i don't even know what cetalox is it says that it is like an amber and a malic smell honestly i don't really get like an amber vibe out of not a perfume because i'm definitely not an amber type of girl what i get from not a perfume is just musky airy sexiness and in the heat this fragrance smells so good and it is one of the hardest fragrances for me to describe because it's not fruity it's not gourmand it's not floral it's just you smell good especially like in the heat to me this is amazing it radiates off of your skin i remember i had a travel size before i got this one and i went to visit my husband's family and I put it on to go out at night to have some drinks. I put on the travel size and I smelled myself the entire night. It was like just, that's what I love about a fragrance is when I could smell it myself. I do not even care that much about compliments. If I can smell myself and I know I smell good, I'm a happy girl. And this does it for me. It sticks around, it smells so good. I'm actually gonna put it on today, but this one, gets recommended a lot to like people who work in the medical field as well because it's just a second skin type of smell like you, the person will tell you you smell so good but they won't even know what they're smelling or how to describe what they're smelling it's just clean it's musky it's inviting and sexy and kind of warm also at the same time it's so good it's a really really good fragrance and it's a very unique fragrance so that is not a perfume so those are all of the juliet fragrances that i have in my collection i hope that you guys enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below which juliet has a gun fragrance is your favorite fragrance or which ones do you own and rank them in the comment section so that we can see which ones are the most popular ones i would love to hear from you guys go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i can't wait to chat with you and i will see you guys in my next video